April said, welcome. <coughs> Hello! Hi, buddy. You're alive. You're alive and you look way better. Good job, you did it. You will only graduate when you get out of there and start being naughty. Well, he could have graduated last night because he got out and pooped everywhere. That's what ducks do, but look at him. So he's so much better and he's eating and drinking and very proud of him. Very proud. It's 10 a.m. and I'm just turning down here to milk. A little milking today. I sit uh, with my <laughs> legs open here in the back to make it more comfortable for me. And this is uh, iodine. It's like a weak tea consistency. And I am not the master as milking. Um, and honestly, without a bucket, it's kind of a pain in the rear because I am milking her into a mason jar. So the first words, I just do it out. And then I'm gonna try to show you. I'm trying to make it fit in that thing. It's a struggle. For me, it's easier to milk from the back. I don't know why. I feel like I can grab the teeth better. And it's how you grab the teeth, what makes the difference. But see, with this one, it's better to grab her like this, from this side. And it's not the dough, it's not the goat itself. It's just my hand. What is easier for my hand. And this will have a very like really good stream but like with Clara that she has longer teeth I can do this very easily the one thing I don't you know that it makes me put a lot more pressure and that's why I get more tired with Clara is because her skin is not as soft as the other girls despite the fact that you know her skin is not the softest um, I can milk her out very quickly she will let her milk down very easily my camera is focusing on whatever it wants but you can see how big of a stream Clara has here going on it's just the fact that you have to uh, close into the teeth enough milk that you'll have a good stream now if I do, if a dough has a like small orifices it's gonna take you forever to milk them out because just a little stream comes out of When I'm getting tired with my fingers, I grab onto the udder, which is weird. I know, you never see anybody milk and grab the udder because usually they'll milk both teeth at the same time. But because I am not, yeah, I am not professional milking, I thought I'd give you some tips and things that work for me. So if you're starting to milk and you're feeling frustrated because you cannot do it like everyone else that you see on YouTube, just don't worry about it. As long as you can get the milk out, that's all that you should care. And it will come with time, um, and I almost feel like uh, muscle memory. Because whatever works, it seems like your hands want to do that. You can see right now her udder is softer. But still, I can feel the milk inside. So I know that she's gonna hold on to milk for her babies, but once she stops letting her milk down, usually when you have babies on them, you're milk sharing, then that means that she's saving whatever is left for her babies. Like on this side, she is letting me get a few spurts. She's getting me, you can see it right there get some milk but every time I press there's less and less because she's trying to save it now I do instantly I use bumper as I'm milking and that is because I am milking with one hand at this point she's giving me probably two and a half cups you cannot see it from there but two and a half cups and now you can see She's not empty, but she is holding on to that milk for her kids. Come on, young lady. 
have a great day. Welcome, Tommy. Yay, yay, yay. Goodbye. Good job. Another tip I can give you is put a lot of alfalfa pellets with a little bit of grain and a little bit I mean whatever you're going to give each dough but then put a couple two or three cups of alfalfa pellets on top that will keep her entertained she's gonna go through it and that way it means that'll give me extra time to melt her now that's Sometimes she gets a little bit fidgety by the end of the milking and I really don't think she'll have any milk for me today, but I'm still gonna try. But she stayed with two kids last night and tonight I'm gonna leave her also with two kids. But I wanna show you how an udder looks. I wanna show you how an udder looks when the kids have been drinking from her. Um, the only reason why I leave her kids with her is you can see how hard it is to squeeze any milk. <laughs> um, the only reason why I left the kids with her, and I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to milk her. Uh, I kind of wish there was a way that I could show you, but look. She does have milk. It's soft, as when I milk Clara at the end. That's how it is. But she does need to eat to hopefully do better with so her legs. When they, when I leave Mocha with her kids at night, she has a tiny little boy, the Chamosé. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Maybe I have a clip from him. Right here, Clarita, Clarita. You don't have to fight over the same seat. Right here. And he is not growing. I mean, he, he doesn't have any diarrhea. He's not sick, he's just, he was born very, very little and it's very, very hard for him to fight for teeth. So what we've been doing for the last two nights is living him and uh, his brother, the black and white boy. Yeah, I know you guys can do this. I know you can. We're just not fighting over the same teeth, okay? Sometimes I put my hand in the middle so they don't fight. <laughs> if they feel me there, they think somebody's trying to take the teeth from them, and so they, they will... This is Clarita. This is Clara's girl. And Clara's feeding both of her boys right now, and Clarita is, is still small compared to the other girls, like Annie's girls, who were born after she was born. I know, and, and it's just... They're just different, and that's why I'm keeping them both. <laughs> so, the problem is that... As I said, I cannot get any more milk, so I put the babies. And while Mocha is finishing whatever she needs, because she does need to eat in order to produce milk. I've seen some people, and I've heard this before, that you know, you just, some people say you feed them as much as they want while you're milking, and then it's done. And that is true, but I found that the best way to do it is with the alfalfa pellets because it really does take them a long time to go through the alfalfa pellets and they kind of push it out of the way to get to the grain. So that's, that's something I started doing this year and oh my goodness, what a change. Hello, Clarita, go find the teeth, sweet girl. No, that's, yeah. And again, this is not Clarita's mom, but I usually, this is what I do when I have a dough that I cannot get any milk because she stayed with kids. I'll put the smallest babies. And this other one, which is Clara's, not Clara's, but Mocha's little girl, uh, she's growing great. So she's being separated from mom at night. Guys, there's two teeth. There's no need to fight. You guys, you got it. You got it, Clarita. It's and this is also helping Mocha produce even more milk by putting more demand on her. So I would put both of her boys here and take turns with her little girl who's on the other side. But there's no point because they, they, they emptied this udder last night. I mean, they had milk all night so they really shouldn't be craving a lot of milk right now. Um, but these two girls were away from their mom so that's what we're doing. And by doing this, again, we are putting more demand on Mocha's udder 
and it kind of works out. Yes, I do sacrifice the, you know, almost three cups that she's giving me because she's giving me quite a bit of milk. Um, two and a half cups, three cups, it kind of varies. Sometimes it's only two. I don't know what the, the, the main difference is, but um, I just don't, I rather sacrifice those two or three cups of milk and feed this babies and put more demand on her udder to increase her production. And at the same time, we're helping these little kids get um, more milk, which is important. Um, in the morning, I mean, Clara just milked her and Clara uh, would feed them. Sometimes we put them in a stall with their babies as they're getting out of the milking room. Ladies, there's milk. They're just, they're, they're bumping because they're trying to get as much milk as they can, but they're bumping my hands up too. So anyways, um, because of that, we're just, uh, we put them sometimes in a stall so the moms can be with their babies by themselves because the other babies are trying to nurse from everyone else. And so well, this is what we do in the mornings. So instead of having Clarita fight, she thinks I'm fighting for her teeth, so she's pushing on my hand. Uh, instead of having her fight for teeth, the boys are drinking. There's two teeth, they both can drink from Clara, and these two girls can get their share, even though I don't have enough milk to get out of her udder. So it all works out in the end. Sir, you feeling any better? I see you are. Let me show you. <laughs> Look at him. He's sitting in whatever sun is there. Hopefully he won't poop on all my straw. Because that's all I have left. Get down, Annabelle. Oh, goodness. Annabelle?